So we're very happy to have Ines Rodriguez from the University of Lisbon, who will tell us about a cactus group action on shifted tableau crystals and a shifted Bernstein Kirillov group. Thank you so much for the introduction, Eva. So um, before I start on uh, uh, shifted tableaus, uh, I will uh, give some, some motivation starting on the, the young tableaus that are probably more well known. Um, so um, uh, young tableaus, they, they appear uh, primarily in the context of the symmetric functions. So we, we have the, the Schur uh, functions that are uh, um, indexed by, by partitions and then they enumerate uh, uh, semi-standard young tableaus. And uh, these Schur functions are very well-known basis for the, the algebra of the, the symmetric function, perhaps the, the most well-known basis. Uh, uh, young tableaus also appear in the representation theory. For instance, um, these Schur functions, uh, they appear in the, uh, as, um, as the Frobenius characters of the reducible representation, representations of the, of the symmetric group, also in the polynomial representations of the general linear group. And moreover, the, they also appear uh, in the context of representation group of the uh, quantized universal enveloping algebra of the um, general linear uh, Lie algebra. Uh, outside of rep representation theory, they also appear in the type A Schubert calculus. So for instance, we have the, the Grassmann, which is the, the, the set of the uh, k-dimensional subspaces of the C to the N. Uh, and these Grassmannian uh, admitted the composition into Schubert cell that are indexed by partitions, but special partitions that fit into uh, in this special rectangle. And moreover, the, the young tableaus are equipped with uh, very interesting uh, um, combinatorial uh, algorithms. Namely, we have the, the Jadtaka, the robinson chesson knut correspondence, tableau switching, etc. And we will uh, see this later. Now, for the case of the shifted tableau, they have a very um, uh, similar uh, story, but with some differences. So, uh, for instance, now we don't have sure functions, but we have sure P and Q functions. And they are not indexed by partitions, but rather strict partitions. So, our partitions that uh, uh, we ask for all the parts to, to be different, but we'll get there. And these uh, functions, they, they form a, um, a, a basis for a, a special subalgebra of the symmetric functions, which is is generated by the odd degree power sums. So they also appear in the representation theory, namely for the projective or spin representations of the symmetric group, or equivalently, we can talk about the linear representations of this group, which is the spin symmetric group. Uh, and they also appear in the representation, representation theory uh, of the quantized universal uh, algebra of the uh, queer Lie super algebra. Uh, for the Schubert calculus, they appear in the type B. So we, uh, we consider the odd orthogonal Grassmannian, which also admits a uh, uh, decomposition into Schubert cells, but not, they are indexed by partitions that fit not in a rectangle, but in uh, an ambient triangle. And most of the, the, the combinatorial algorithms that we had before for young tableaus are also present for the, the shifted versions. And we'll get there. So just to remind what is a young tableau. So we consider a, a partition to be a, a sequence of the weakly decreasing uh, integers like this, uh, and we identify it with a, a Young diagram. So basically, this is a, a diagram in which the, the first row we put lambda one boxes, and the second row lambda two, etc. And they are left justified, and uh, um, we will use the English notation, so uh, which is uh, the matrix notation, not the Cartesian notation. And the uh, semi-standard Young tableau. Uh, of a, a skew shape. So the skew shapes are defined as expected. So you consider a shape and then remove uh, the, the innermost one. So uh, you fill the, these boxes uh, with the integers uh, in, this, uh, in this alphabet that we mostly will consider the, the integers from one to the n uh, in such a way that the rows are uh, weakly increasing and the columns are strictly increasing. We denote the set of establos like this. So here we have an example. Uh, the word of the tableau is, uh, is simply read the, the, um, the rows uh, in this case from uh, bottom to top and then from uh, uh, left to right. So three, four, two, two, three, et cetera. And the weight um, is simply a vector in each the, the first entry is the number of ones and the number of twos, et cetera. 
and um, the standard tableaus are, are the ones that have the weights the better uh, with all the ones. So basically, uh, each entry will appear exactly once from one to the number of boxes. So for the shifted tableaus, now we will consider a strict partition. Basically, we, we, we need uh, the parts, the, all different parts to be uh, displayed in the uh, strictly decreasing order. And we can associate uh, um, um, uh, 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 shape, a shifted shape as before. But, but now all the, um, all the rows will be shifted one, one entry to, um, to the right. Uh, we defin define the skew shapes as uh, as before, and uh, now the the great difference is that uh, for this kind of uh, shifted tableaus, single center tableaus, uh, we will consider a different alphabet, which is the the primed alphabet. Uh, so basically, now we have um, for each entry i, we will have a primed i uh, that is uh, uh, less than it. So we have uh, one prime one, two prime two, etc. And we'll ask for the rows and columns to be weakly increasing, uh, but uh, also that there is at most one primed entry uh, per row and uh, one uh, unprimed entry per column. So we have like this. Uh, the word is read as before. So we start at the bottom and go to, um, to top and then left to right. So three, two, three prime, one, one, two prime, two. And uh, um, for this specific kind of, uh, of um, shifted tableaus, we will ask for them to be in canonical form. So which means that the, the southwesternmost or the first occurrence in, in the word uh, of every letter I or I prime must be unprimed. So basically these three has to be unprimed, these two also, and this one too. And uh, every shifted standard tableau admits a decomposition into border strips. Uh, which is simply the, the, the sub tableau uh, consisting only of the letters I and uh, I prime. Uh, we'll denote the set uh, of these shifted tableaus like this. Uh, and the weight uh, is defined as before, and uh, we have that the, uh, each of the entries I and I prime will contribute the same. So uh, here we have uh, two ones, three uh, twos or two primes, and three, uh, two threes. Uh, and the sure q function is defined um, uh, very similar to, to the definition of the sure functions, but um, um, here we consider the set of um, shifted standard tableaus uh, without the canonical form uh, requirement. So we associate a, a, a monomial to each tableau like, like this. And the sure functions are, uh, P functions are a little bit different. So basically, if you want a definition like this, this set, uh, the, so the rules to, to, to fill a, a, a tableau will be slightly different. Uh, but the ones that we are interested in today are the, the tableaus for the Q functions. And either way, the, 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 they, are, they are connected in this way, where you can uh, uh, multiply by this factor to, to obtain one and another. And uh, so as, as for the case for the Young tableaus, a shift tableau is said to be standard if it's weighted the vector uh, with all ones. And uh, um, basically, if we start with a semi-standard tableau, you can standardize it. So basically, you will replace all the letters uh, with letters from one to the number of boxes uh, with the following rules. So basically, you start uh, with the primed entries, uh, then, uh, well, first for ones, then for twos, et cetera. We start first with the primes, uh, and they are read right to left, and then the unprimes are read uh, left to right. So I will give an example that will make this clear. So first we go to the ones, one, two. Okay, this is do, uh, done. So for the twos, uh, first we do the two primes. So next is this one, then this one, because they're going right to left. And then for the two primes, you go uh, left to right. So this one, and then this one. And then for the trees like this. And so we have a standardized or standard tableau. And this process can be uh, reverted. So uh, this is a result of, um, that is done by Peshnik and Jung, that if you have a, a standard uh, shifted tableau and the composition, so a composition is, um, is basically a, a vector of positive integers. Think of it of, of a partition that, is, uh, that doesn't have to be in, in um, 
decreasing order. And then there is at most uh, one shifted semi standard tableau uh, with the same shape that uh, is ten, uh, its standardization is S. I think just turn on the light. Oh, and Ilesh, can, sorry, can I ask you a quick question? Yeah, yeah, uh, sure. For the Q sure functions uh, that yeah. you're computing with this table, so these are the ones which give us the Schubert classes for the odd orthogonal Grossmannian, you say, or? Um, no, I think our, uh, I think the Schubert classes are-, are, are um, The P- the, the P functions, yes. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. Yeah. Uh, okay, and the process to, like, to semi-standardize uh, a tableau, if it exists, but basically the, the, the case that we are interested in, uh, it exists. So we, we will replace uh, each letter with uh, this letter uh, with uh, chi, um, chi index i uh, that, uh, that is in this, in this set. Okay, is, uh, um, let's not focus much on this definition. Uh, the example will make this, this clear. So basically we first replace with a letter with an index and then replace that letter with uh, either a primed entry uh, if uh, um, this uh, condition is satisfied or an untrained one otherwise. And so for the cases that uh, uh, we start with the tableau with the uh, weight uh, new, then we standardize and then Smith standardize again with regards to, to that composition of the weight, then you, it, it exists and it's, uh, it's T again. So let's see an example. So you have this, uh, which is the, the same standardized tableau as before. And we want to semi-standardize with regards to, to the weight, which was 242. So basically what you do is, okay, first we will, we will, um, we will have to have uh, two ones, right? So we take one and two and transform it like this. Then uh, we go to the next four entry that will have to be twos. So three, four, five, and six will be twos. And then seven and eight have to be threes. Okay, and then we'll go to these rules. So basically, the um, we will see if there is a, a, a an entry with one which has a bigger index uh, to the southwest, so like this, and there is not, so it's one. This again, so these two with index three as a, a big a, a larger index here, so these will have to be prime. This is the same because it has a, a, a five here, so it's prime. This is in the as nothing, so it's two, and this again, it's it's two, and this has a, a, a larger index here, so three prime, and this is three, and then we recover the the the, the first tableau as before, the semi-standard tableau. So I mentioned earlier that uh, we also have a, a shifted version of the of the Jetaka, and it's defined uh, very similar to the to the case for the for the young tableaus, but we have some exceptional slides. But uh, um, basically, the, the idea for both is that we start either with a, a, a an inner corner that it's a box like this, or an outer corner that it's something um, like like this, and uh, uh, we slide the boxes. Um, uh, in such a way that uh, we keep the, the semi-standard rules. Okay, and uh, the rectification is, is simply defined as to be a, um, uh, you, you perform all the jet, the jet back on the inner slides such that you have a straight shape tableau. And uh, uh, both for the young tableau case and for the shifted case, you have that any rectification sequence will yield the same, uh, the same tableau. And we'll, we'll consider this special tableau, which is called the Yamanushi tableau. That will be the unique shifted tableau uh, that has shape and weight uh, new for a given uh, strict partition new, and it, it is in canonical form. And it's not very hard to, to check that this tableau is, uh, uh, is one that on the first row only has ones, on the second only has twos, etc. And uh, uh, a shifted little Richard and Stembridge uh, tableau is one that rectifies to this uh, special tableau, and this is a shifted version of the Littlewood Richardson uh, tableaus. So let's take this example. So here we don't have much choice, so we have to, to perform the Jetaka on this slide. So this goes here, this goes here, again, this goes here to keep SME standard. Okay, but here we have uh, the, that special slide that I mentioned. So whenever you have a, a, an inner corner like this, that is in the 
what we call the, the main diagonal, and then we have a, a primed entry i, and then another unprimed i. What to, what happens is that this prime uh, will will lose the prime, so and the, the the other one will go up like like this. So here it's again uh, one of those cases. So this goes here, and this goes here, and we see that that is precisely that uh, uh, special uh, tableau which has ones on the first row, two on the on the second, etc. And uh, we also have the shifted uh, little Richardson coefficient, which is defined as we expect as the number of uh, little Richardson Stembridge tableaus of, uh, of shape lam uh, lambda mu and weight nu, which are in canonical form. And uh, they appear in the linear expansions of either the skew uh, q function or the product of uh, p functions. And also they appear in, in many other contexts. So for other uh, approaches to the shifted little wood Richardson rule, uh, here we have a, a very brief uh, survey of, of it. And uh, other um, um, combinatorial algorithm that we have uh, for shifted tableaus is the shifted evacuation. Uh, and uh, uh, it's defined like this. Basically, I, I mentioned before that the, these shifted tableaus they live in a, a like an ambient triangle, so something like this. And what you do is that you you uh, reflect it across this anti-diagonal and complement it. So, for instance, like this row here is uh, like two prime one one one. So here we have uh, two unprimed. Three prime, three prime, three primes, but since we are considering canonical form, it's it's three. So we consider this tableau and then we rectify it. So this goes here. This this is the special slide, special slide again, and that's it. So this is the evacuation of this tableau here. Uh, so this is not a very good example uh, because the 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 weight uh, uh, stays the same, but actually since you are complementing the uh, this evacuation operator actually reverts the weight. So uh, this is, this was uh, three two three, so it's now it's three two three again. But uh, okay, other example would be better. And we may also consider the the shifted reversal. So which is the the the. Um, uh, the, the the extension of the evacuation for the skew shapes and you consider it to be a coplatic extension. So here coplatic means that it commutes with the with the jetpacker. So in this case with the shifted jetpacker. And you can obtain this reversal uh, in a simple way. So we first uh, rectify T, but uh, we record the rectification sequence in which we, we did it. Then we once we obtain a um, um, a straight shape tableau we do the evacuation and then we undo the rectification. So basically we, using the the, the, rec, the the sequence that we recorded, we undo uh, all the thing. And uh, um, this is uh, it was uh, introduced by, by Ayman. It, it's actually valid for young tableaus and shifted ones. And it's um, it's actually the, the unique tableau such that is uh, Knut equivalent or Jetstaka equivalent to its complement. So to to the one that is obtained by by flipping it in the ambient triangle, and so so uh, shifted knut equivalent to the complement and uh, dual equivalent to to itself. Uh, well, where the dual equivalence is defined for uh, for the um, in, in the same way as for the Young tableau. Uh, another algorithm for which we have a, a shifted version two is the shifted tableau switching. So it was first introduced by Shoi, Nam, and O. And uh, uh, it uh, provides a, a shifted uh, analog for the for the very well-known table switching due to Benkart, uh, Sotil, and Struma. And uh, I won't go into into much detail, and we'll see why. But basically, um, this is an algorithm that is based on Jetaka, and so we start with a pair of tableaus, uh, one extending the other. So this means that we can uh, uh, basically put them together like this. So think of the uh, orange tableau and the white one. And then we move one to the other um, uh, based on the jet packer. And this process uh, has many nice uh, properties, and namely it, it's compatible with standardization and the canonical form. So, uh, so we start with these ones. And uh, 
will basically move like this. And uh, I probably won't go into much detail because we have a, a, um, uh, an easier way to obtain it, which is considering the, um, the type C infusion to, due to Thomas and Young. So as I mentioned, this is compatible with standardization. So basically we can uh, uh, forget about SME standards tableaus and uh, just uh, standardize everything uh, within it, each of the alphabets. And then this type C infusion, uh, it's basically a, a, a jet stacan in which we are performing jet stacan on the white tableaus in the order determined by the, um, the orange ones. So basically we think of the orange boxes as being uh, empty boxes and we start on the largest one. Uh, so we start with six. So this is a, a, an empty corner and we move it. And once it's moved on the outside, we don't move it again. So we go to the, to the next largest entry, which is five. Then we move it and then the, the other ones. So once we get the white tableau to be rectified, um, it's done. This e and uh, okay, this is what's for standard tableaus, but then we can apply the Smith standardization with, with regards to the, to the weights that we recorded before. And we obtain the same, the same result as before. So basically from now on, you can consider the, the, the shifted tableau switching to be of them in this way. And so before we go to the, to the crystals of the shifted tableau, let's just recall very briefly uh, the, th the theory for, uh, for the young tableaus. So uh, we have that the semi-standard young tableaus uh, are a very well-known model for the, for the GLN crystals, for the type A crystals. Um, and uh, basically the, these, these crystals are, are uh, introduced uh, in the context of representation theory of the quantized universal um, enveloping algebra for the, the GLN. And there's many nice properties. For instance, the, the, the character of a crystal will be the character of the, the irreducible representation. Uh, and it has a very, very nice uh, um, approach as a, as a graph, as a, a crystal graph. And in particular, the, the GLN crystal can be regarded as a directed graph, a cyclic one with the colored edges so that they correspond to, in this case, to lowering operators, but we can also think of uh, raising operators. So each of these colors corresponds to, 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 the, to like two different uh, sets of operators. And we have uh, weighted vertices, which is the, the, the young tableaus, which obviously has a, a, a weight. And, um, we have when, when when you consider the the, the set of uh, skewed tableaus, you have that it decomposes nicely into uh, connected components, uh, and each of the connected components uh, is isomorphic via rectification to um, uh, to, to um, a GLN crystal of a, of a straight shape, and then we recover here uh, uh, precisely the the um, the Littlewood uh, Richardson uh, coefficients. And uh, moreover, we have that the, these characters have the sure function as character, and they have a unique highest weight, which is a source vertex, and the uh, unique lowest weight, which is a sink vertex, and they are connected uh, through rectification. And so if we take this decomposition and take the, 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 um, the characters, the characters are crystals, we recover the, the, the very classic Littlewood Richardson rule for the, the sure functions. And so finally, we go to the shifted tableaus. So uh, recently, um, Gillespie, Levinson, and Purbum introduced uh, um, a crystal-like structure, and we say crystal-like uh, because it's not it's not really a crystal, and we'll see it soon uh, by by defining coplactic, so um, coplactic operators. Uh, so they they commute to the shifted just taken. So they have primed and unprimed operators. So now you have to consider. Uh, for everything you do, you consider primed and unprimed um, operators. Uh, they also have length functions. And again, uh, you have total length functions and then the, the primes and the unprimes. And the weight function is, the, is simply the weight of a tableau. So we remark that this is not the, the first uh, crystal structure for a shifted tableau. Uh, okay, because we are considering a very uh, specific kind of tableau. So you have uh, uh, other rules to, to fill uh, um, a shifted, a shifted diagram. 
so for instance, uh, the one introduced by uh, Gancharov, uh, Jung, Kang, Kashiwar, and Kim, it's uh, it's a crystal for uh, uh, schistic decomposition tableaus, and uh, the ones from uh, Asaf and Ouz and uh, Gillespie, Oxbow, and Schilling are the crystals for the um, the, the shift the tableaus that are enumerated by the p functions, and uh, these are these are crystals. So they, they form crystal bases for the for the representation, representations of the quantum clear Lie super algebra, and uh, its characters are precisely the Schur p functions. So, but the the, the crystal-like structure that we are considering today, um, well, it's it's not really crystal in the in the sense that the it's not known if it forms a crystal basis for any quantized enveloping algebra. And moreover, it has a motivation in the in the type to B Schubert calculus in the sense that uh, so um, the authors that introduce it um, they they studied the, the the topology of Schubert cur uh, Schubert curves uh, for the, for the type A case uh, using precisely the coplactic operators of the of the of the GLN crystals, and so they tried to do something similar for the for the type B. Uh, and introduce these uh, coplactic uh, operators. So, the, the, for instance, the operators in these crystals are, are not coplactic. But so, this, this is not uh, uh, like a crystal in the traditional sense, but nonetheless, it has many nice properties that uh, resemble the, the type A crystals. So, for instance, you can uh, still regard it as directly the cyclic graph, but now you have uh, colored double edges. So, you have the solid edges for the, the unprimed operators and dashed edges for the primed ones. Uh, it also admits a decomposition into, into connected components and you, um, you, you recover here the, the shifted little Richardson um, co coefficient. Uh, each of the, 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 the components is isomorphic is, is isomorphic via rectification. Again, we are considering um, uh, compactic operators. So they are isomorphic to um, to a um, to, to a, um, a straight shaped um, crystal-like structure, and again we have uh, unique highest weight and lowest weight elements, uh, which are connected by uh, which are um, um, related by uh, reversal. And uh, ah, and the the highest weight it's uh, it's a little richard and Stanbridge tableau. So taking these. Um, this decomposition and taking the, the crystal characters, we recover the, the, this formula for the, the skew, uh, Q functions. And uh, similar to what is done in the, in the GLN crystal, so we, when we have the, the Lustig involution, we can also define something similar, the, the, the shifted Schutzenberg uh, Lustig involution. Um, now, okay, we'll see that it's, it's, it coincides with the reversal, but let's define it in terms of um, of the crystal operator, so it will be the the unique. Oh, what happened? Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, it's the the unique set, um, the unique map of sets, uh, such that uh, does this. So we basically, it uh, it uh, reverts uh, the um, the um, it flips the the graph upside down. So um, reverts the the orientation of the arrows and the colors. Uh, but keeps the um, so basically the the primed ones the dashed ones keeps uh, keeps its primes and the and primes so the solid ones keep solid and it will act on the weight uh, as the um, as the longest permutation in the symmetric group so basically for uh, uh, so you define it for for um, for a straight shaped um, um, shifted tableau crystal but then we, since it has a decomposition um, um, into into connected components uh, which are isomorphic to a to a straight shaped one, uh, you can uh, um, extend into the to the skew uh, the sheet of tableau crystal. So as I said, it it coincides with the with the reversal, and uh, in particular, if we are considering uh, only on the straight shaped case, it will coincide with with the evacuation. And we may consider the, the restrictions of the Schutzenberger Lustig involution to any interval, uh, any primed interval. So basically, this is I prime, uh, uh, I prime I, I, I plus one prime, I, I plus one, etc. Uh, we define it like this basically, uh, everything that is outside I and J uh, will say the same, and we apply the Schutzenberger involution to the. Um, 
to this sub tableau here. And here we need to be a little careful. So basically, we defined it to basically considering an alphabet from one to the end. Here, the alphabet is I to, to, to J. So basically, we need to basically do a relabeling and then put everything back together. And uh, oh, so, sorry, uh, sorry. In, 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 yeah. so you're you're only restricting in that formula to a primed interval. Yes, yes. Okay. And uh, okay, and um, okay, specifically, I, I consider the the um, a primed interval um, uh, what, like this. Okay, so basically, we have a, a one prime one, uh, one plus one prime. Uh, so, um, uh, sorry, I don't know. I, I, mm -hmm. Oh, okay, I, I see. And so you're um, okay. Maybe you'll say this later. But then no, the no, 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 please. <laughs> then the action. This action. Can you just consider some subset of these guys which generate the action, uh, or do you have a nice collection of these, or or do you have to consider all of them? Um, for like uh, for um for which action? Sorry. I guess when you're when you're thinking about this map of sets. Um, ah yes. Um. Maybe you'll talk about this later. Okay. Okay. We'll we'll uh, we'll get back. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, uh, we can consider a specific uh, restriction of the Schutzenberg evolution uh, that is called the the crystal refraction operators. So in type A, uh, they're called the crystal refraction operators, and uh, this is a, this restriction to um, to intervals of uh, two adjacent letters. Uh, and basically, they, they will act on the I string. So, an I string it's, um, it's um, a connected component of uh, uh, color I. So, here in the type A, so this is an I string, this is another uh, red string. And uh, uh, these operators have the particularity that they realize an action of the, um, of the symmetric group on the set of um, on the GLN crystal or in the set of the. Uh, uh, since the young tables, uh, because okay, obviously they 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 are involutions by by construction. Uh, also, if they are uh, uh, if i and j are um, are sufficiently separated, they 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 also commute because they only act on the on two adjacent letters, and they also satisfy the the bread relations. Well, uh, we may not really consider a shifted version of it, so we can uh, define. The, the shifted crystal refraction operators. So we define it using the, the, the shifted tableau crystal uh, operators, and we can prove that they, uh, they in fact coincide with the shifted Schutzenberg involution now to the primed intervals of uh, two adjacent letters. Uh, so we have these. Okay, and they, they obviously satisfy that they, they are involutions uh, by, the, by the definition of the Schutzenberg involution. And also, since they only act on um, like on the uh, prime adjacent letters, uh, if I and J are sufficiently separated, they they will also commute. Uh, in particular, they they will act on a, on the weight by reverting the multiplicities of I and I plus one. So in particular, this uh, this gives us a um, a combinatorial proof that the 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 Q functions or the P functions are symmetric functions. Not, not that we need because they. they I didn't say this, but they are uh, symmetric functions because they are special specializations of uh, all little wood uh, uh, polynomials. So, but nonetheless, it gives a nice alternative proof. Okay, but uh, that this is where the, the the similarities with the type A start to to not happen because these uh, these uh, shifted crystal refraction operators they do not need to satisfy the the bridge relation. So this relation here. And so, for instance, if we consider this tableau here. Then we have that uh, sigma one two one, and uh, sigma two one two. It's it's not it's not different. It's it's uh, sorry. It's not the same. So basically, we we do not have the 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 same action of a symmetric group that we have in the in the type A. Uh, nonetheless, we can still uh, uh, use these um, these uh, shifted crystal refraction operators to drive these this formula here. So, for instance, if you have a long the longest permutation. Uh, of the symmetric group written like this, then we can, um, if we apply this sequence of crystal refraction operators, then we recover the the, um, the reversal of T, but only if T is a, a, an eigast weight, so a little richard and Stanbridge double, or a lowest weight. 
Um, okay, so we don't have uh, an action of the symmetric group, so uh, it's uh, let's start with the with the Cartus group. So uh, the um, Diane Fruit Cartus group um, uh, was uh, originally introduced by Enrique Zimkanitzer. Uh, it, it actually has, has um, uh, other definitions more, more motivated by the geometry, but today we are um, sticking to the um, more algebraic definition. So basically, it's the free group generated by this Sij that they are subject to these uh, relations here. So they are involutions, they commute if the, these intervals are, are sufficiently separated. And uh, if we take one interval contained in the other, then they satisfy this one. So in particular, if you take any interval, uh, it's obvi ij, it's obviously contained in uh, 1j. And so if you take this third relation and the fact that they are involutions, and you can write any sij like this. So you write with only generators that start uh, here with one. So the, this provides another set of generations for the n fruit cartus group, the, these ones here. And uh, Eva Lashev uh, proved that uh, there exists a natural internal action uh, of, uh, of this uh, and fruit cutters group. Actually, she proved something much more general, uh, but uh, we are sticking to the type A for to illustrate the, 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 the parallels with the, with the shifted case. So let's consider uh, here the set of Smith and Adjian tableaus as a GLN crystal. And so the n fruit cutters group will act here. Uh, here the restrictions of the Schutzenberger involution uh, to the subintervals of n. Okay, so in particular, when you consider it's acting on uh, on the on the GLN crystal of the straight shapes, uh, and considering the alternative set of generators, uh, this uh, this uh, uh, coincides with the action of the the restricted evacuation. So basically, consider the evacuation, but just to the interval from one to to y. And uh, uh, this action actually factors through the quotient uh, of, uh, of the Enfrit-Cartus group by this uh, uh, normal subgroup, which corresponds to the precise to the braid relations of the of the symmetric group, which is the the Val group of the of GLN. Actually, again, the result is, the result is much more general. So basically, you, it factors through the 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 corresponding braid relations of the of the well Val group you are considering. And so, uh, in particular, if you consider this, uh, this generator here, SI, I plus one, so of two adjacent letters, it will act on as the crystal reflection uh, operator. And so, this is an internal action because you also have an external action, which is defined on the tensor product of crystals. But for the shifted case, for the, well, for the shifted tableau of crystal that we are considering today, there is a, uh, it's not known, uh, if there is a, uh, a tensor product is, is, is not known yet. And um, so, actually, to, uh, to, to illustrate the parallels, there is actually a, a, an action of the Enfrit Catus group now on the shifted tableau crystals of shifted tableaus. And um, the action is given by the, the, these restrictions of the shifted Schutzenberger involution. Now we consider to all the primed intervals um, of n prime, of uh, the, the integers from one to the n prime. So in particular, we can also consider this uh, action only on the um, straight shaped uh, shifted tableaus. And uh, again, considering the alternative set of generators, this action will correspond to the shifted evacuation now restricted to the interval from one to i primed again. And uh, well, considering the, um, again, on, on the case of the of, uh, uh, straight shaped shifted tableaus, uh, from that uh, third cut group uh, relation, you can drive this nice formula for to compute this restriction, but only in terms of um, evacuations. So you don't need to eliminate the the uh, the ones to etc. And uh, um, now we will um, uh, go towards uh, another appearance of this cut group. But first, we need uh, something more. So. Let's recall that the the bender knut moves, so they are involutions uh, defined on the on the set of the semi-standard Young tableaus, and uh, so the, the this move ti will act only on the adjacent letters, so y and i plus one, and it will do it by um, swapping their their multiplicity, so interchanging the the weight as this simple transposition. They were introduced by bender and knut to in the study of the plane partitions, 
and uh, perhaps they are they are uh, most well known because they they are used to provide the combinatorial proof that the the Schur functions the classic Schur functions are symmetric functions but also they appear in uh, in uh, proofs of uh, uh, in short proofs of the little Richardson rule so here in these ones and it uh, works like this. Basically, if you, you, it only acts on uh, adjacent letters, so we might consider by simplicity a tables with only ones and twos. And what we do is that, okay, so these entries here, that ones that have a two below, uh, we will uh, keep them that way. And uh, the ones that don't, don't have, do not have anything below, what we do is that we'll count how many, how many of them there are per, per row. So here we have uh, four ones and uh, two twos here, uh, two ones and three twos, and then we'll swap these numbers. So, and the, the gray ones are, are fixed, we'll doing anything. So, here we go like this. So, now we have two uh, ones and four twos, and here three ones and two twos. So, basically, the weight reverted. And uh, this process uh, is, uh, is known to coincide with the, with a certain kind of table switching. Let's see. So, uh, the shift of table switching for the type A is. Uh, so I mentioned this for the, sh the shifted case, but uh, let's recall. So this is an evolution in which you have a, a, a pair of, of tableaus, uh, one extending the other, and we will move one through the other uh, based on jet and slides. And um, actually for the type A, this, this process, um, doesn't, it's not very restrictive. So basically uh, while we are moving, you just require for the, the intermediate uh, steps to be to, to keep Smith tenderness. So basically any, any sequence of, uh, of uh, uh, switches is, uh, is valid. Uh, but you have a more restrictive uh, algorithm, which is the infusion, which is a special case for standard tableaus uh, in which the order in which you perform the slides are determined by, by this innermost tableau. So basically, um, we start with this one, like this. As before, for the, uh, it's very similar to the case for the, the shifted one. But, uh, um, well, for the, for the type A, the, the, the Bennett-Newton involutions, they, they are known to coincide with the shifted tableau switching. Uh, after uh, obviously a, a swapping of those letters. So let's see why. So this is the same tableau as before. And now we'll consider uh, this as being a pair of tableaus, one with the ones and one with the twos, like this, the, the orange one and the white one. And then we basically want to move the orange ones through the white ones. So let's start with the, with the ones that were fixed before. So these, these ones that have the, the ones that have a two below. So we move like this. And then these ones will simply slide through the twos like this. And so this is not a, this is not a, a valid tableau, but then we uh, relabel everything and it is, and it is the same as, um, as before. And uh, for the shifted uh, um, bender knut involutions, um, motivated by precisely by this uh, by this coincidence, uh, okay, since we have a, a, a shifted tableau switching, it's very natural to consider uh, to, to define a shifted bender knut involution in, in this way. So basically, uh, this, uh, this involution Ti will only act on letters i, i plus one. And basically what we do is that we apply the, the shifted tableau switching uh, on this pair of the, of the sub, sub tableau of the i's and the sub tableau of the i plus ones. Uh, and then in the end, replace the, the letters again. And I must remark that this, uh, there, uh, Stembridge introduced uh, uh, bender knut like uh, moves for shifted tableau, uh, but uh, it's not, it's not, they are not compatible with the canonical form, which we are requiring. So let's see an example here. So if you want to apply the T2, for instance, so we will um, forget everything that it's not two and three, so one and four, you can forget it. And then we want to move the, the, the twos past the trees. Okay, and, and here, uh, okay, uh, the, the shift to tableau fitting actually has a, a, a very um, strict order. So basically we start um, with this, um, with this here, so it goes like this, and this. Okay, and it's it's done. So now we have to um, swap the letters like this, and this is it. So basically, it uh, reverts the number of. Um, so we have four twos and uh, two threes, and now we have two twos and four threes. And uh, so they they act only on the on the letters uh, on adjacent letters uh, primed. 
reverting the multiplicity. So they, they will act on the weight as a simple transposition as the classic binary tooth moves. Uh, obviously, they satisfy, uh, they are involution, so basically you can revert all this process uh, in the same way. And since they only act on the adjacent letters, if I and J are sufficiently separated, they will also commute. Um, so uh, if they satisfy this, if they are involution that reverts the way as the, as the simple transposition, in particular, they provide another proof for the, the fact that the, the sure Q functions are symmetric functions. Uh, in general, it, it is different. It does not reside with, um, with the crystal expression operators, but this is also happens in the in the type A. So basically, uh, the crystal expression operators uh, keep everything in the same in the same uh, uh, I component, but uh, these don't. And uh, uh, actually, you can you can write the evacuation uh, uh, using this product of uh, shifted Van der Knut involution, similar to what happens in the in the type A case. Uh, so here you consider the, this to one, to one, uh, tn, etc. But you can also have the, the restriction of the shifted evacuation uh, to from one to i, uh, like this. So we only go to these ones, and in particular, uh, uh, the evacuation to the end coincides with the, the like the general evacuation. And uh, okay, back to type A again. So um, there's this uh, bernstein kirillov group that it's considered to be the, the free group generated by the, the type A bender knuts involutions. Uh, model the relations that they satisfy on a semi standard Young tableau. And we may consider this uh, subgroup uh, BKN that's generated by the first n minus one uh, bender knut moves. Uh, this set has an alternative set of generators, which are these operators uh, QI. So uh, they are involutions. They, they are realized by, by the, the evacuation on, uh, on straight shapes. And these are uh, the relations that are known to, to hold in the, in the uh, bernstein kirillov group. So again, they, they are involutions and they commute when the INJ is separated. Uh, we have this uh, special relation. Uh, um, let's say that, uh, uh, well, uh, Q1, T2 to the six uh, is actually the identity. We also have this one here, and uh, okay, and this first, uh, this first four uh, relations um, appeared in the in the paper by Bernstein Kirillov, and uh, recently uh, Shmutov, Lik, and Piliavsky um, uh, provided this relation here that actually generalizes the um, this last one here. And for the case of the crystal refraction operators of the type A. Um, when acting on on uh, on straight shapes again, they satisfy this relation, and uh, you can prove this this thing here. So basically, the um, this that uh, okay comes from the bridge relation uh, is equivalent to to this relation here. So basically, if the bridge relations are satisfied by the the um, the crystal refraction operators in type A, um, uh, they are satisfied if and only if this uh, this relation here. Uh, is satisfied too. Uh, and there, there is a, uh, also a natural action of the of the um, Bernstein Kirillov group uh, to the end on the type A uh, crystals of the straight shapes uh, given by this. So you, you associate um, each of that uh, alternative generators. Uh, they, uh, they are realized by the, the rescission of the evacuation to from one to y. Uh, well, if you remember, this this will precisely coincide with the with the action of the Catus group um, as before, and uh, so we have this uh, theorem. Uh, it's it's in the paper of uh, Shmutov, Luke, and Piliavsky, but uh, but also uh, Ivan uh, remarked that uh, this um, uh, may also be concluded uh, by our, our work. So uh, basically, they they proved it with the um, with the um, semi-standard growth diagrams. Uh, so, but both they conclude that. Uh, there is a, a, a group ep epimorphism from the Catus group to the bernstein kirillov group of N, uh, given by this. So uh, as a consequence, you have that the bernstein kirillov group of N is isomorphic to a quotient of the of the Catus group. Okay, and uh, um, okay, as I said, this is proved by um, by Shmutov, Luke, and Piliavsky with the uh, growth diagrams, but uh, Alashev also noted that this uh, can be derived uh, by um, using the the, the Catus group action, and uh, um, this kernel here uh, is non-trivial because, in particular, this contains um, uh, 
this um, this subroute generated by by the, the relation that corresponds to this this special relation, which, which is the one that it's not equivalent to any of the Catus group relations. And uh, in a recent paper by by Bernstein and Kirillov, uh, they considered the the Bernstein and Kirillov group to be precisely the group uh, generate um, subjects to the to the relations that we listed. So in this case, the kernel is exactly this um, this subgroup here. Uh, and moreover, um, in in those in that paper, Shmutov, Wick, and Piliavsky, uh, they they um, define they established uh, implications between the the relations of the um, of the Katus group and the ones that holding hold on the Bernstein Kirillov group, and specify that these relations here of the of the Bernstein Kirillov group are equivalent to here these uh, Katus group relations. And here it's, it's important to note that these relations are, are uh, um, this theorem is stated in terms of uh, uh, like free group generators. So we are not considering these to be realized by some specific operators. So uh, because of this, we can uh, use it later to, to, to also apply these to our shifted ones. So um, if we have this implication, basically we have another presentation for the Katus group via the, the vendor smith evolutions. So this one here. Okay, and so uh, with that being said, we can consider it's natural to consider a shifted version of the Bernstein Kirillov group in the same way. So we consider this group to be generated by, by those shifted Bender Knut involutions. Uh, now, model the relations that they satisfy on shifted semi standard tableau. We also consider the, the, the shifted Bernstein Kirillov group of, uh, of when is generated by the first um, n minus one um, shifted Bender Knut involutions. And uh, um, uh, similar to the to the as before, we can consider an alternative set of generators, and these are uh, realized by the the recession of the shifted evacuation on straight shapes only. And uh, uh, we have these relations that's old here, so uh, you probably uh, recognize it as the uh, almost the same as before, except for that uh, uh, special relations. So the um, to one to t one to t two to c six. Uh, which does not need to hold here. And uh, so here we have this uh, uh, counterexample. And uh, uh, this comes as no surprise because we've seen that the, the, um, the grade relations for the, the shifted crystal fraction operators do not need to hold two. And uh, since we have that, uh, um, um, the, this formula here, basically that uh, uh, it's also proved for the, the shifted case, we have that uh, this, uh, uh, this part here is um, uh, intimately related to this one here. So basically, this will be uh, one if and only if this is one, which neither is, is the case. So this comes as a surprise, as we recall, the bridge relations do not need to hold. Um, so using what we had before, we, uh, we also have a, 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 a natural action of the shifted bernstein kirillov group on the shifted tableau crystals. Um, given by this, so consider the, the alternative set of generators, um, which corresponds to the restriction of the evacuation, uh, now for, uh, from one to I prime. And this will coincide with uh, that Catus group action that we mentioned before. And as so we have uh, um, uh, an epimorphism between the, the, from the Catus group to the shifted Bernstein Kirillov group. And so uh, as before, um, the, the shifted Bernstein Kirillov group is isomorphic to a quotient of the of the Catus group. Okay, but uh, here, uh, um, if, if you remember before, the, the, that quotient um, was non-trivial. It contains um, the um, the corresponding relations of that special relation that here does not does not need to hold. So basically, in this case, we do not know explicit elements of this uh, of this kernel here. Uh, we know it, uh, that uh, since this uh, formula here holds, we know that the the, um, the study of, of this kernel is closely related to the ones of the um, to the actions of the shifted crystal refraction operators uh, on the straight shaped uh, shifted tableau crystals. Uh, what we can say is that okay, since we have that result by Shmutov, Lick, and Piliavsky uh, establishing the the um, the implications between the the Katus group relations and the ones from the uh, well, pr precisely the ones that that um, that are satisfied. So the the special one was not needed. 
so we have uh, an alternative presentation for the Catus group in terms of the shifted bender Knut uh, moves. And uh, well, that concludes what I wanted to talk today. Thank you very much.